The City of Scottsdale has published a list of apartment units in the development pipeline. The total number provided by the City is 11,242 units, and the City has confirmed this is not a complete list. The residents have a right to know these numbers in order to decide about future apartment approvals. So why are certain candidates for City Council denying these numbers? Just watch what they are saying. I've heard that 10,000 units are currently underway. That is not the case. The total number even in the pipeline doesn't even get to 8,000. So I think facts are important. We have 10,000 apartments and units that are approved in the pipeline that are going to be coming to your neighborhoods at some point. Uh, those aren't my numbers. Those come directly from the city. Well, I got the same information from the city and the same numbers that Mr. Graham got. Uh, there's 11,000 according to that sheet. I have heard the number 50,000 units. Nobody that I've spoken with has approved 50,000 units in this city. There's talk of adding, you know, thousands of more, 50,000 more. The 50,000 number isn't my number. That number has been put out there by what self-described housing experts on many occasions. Members of the council, my name is Bastian Andrewe, here on behalf of the Arizona Multi-Housing Association. Noted by the Wall Street Journal less than two months ago, the United States is millions of housing units behind current demand. Roughly 50,600 of those in Scottsdale alone just to match current demand for a 2019 Elliott D. Pollock and Company study. And we need more housing units across the spectrum. But we really need to stop this extremism. 200,000 units, nobody's talking about 200,000 units. In Arizona, this translates to a pre-pandemic need of approximately 230,000 new units. That the community is short over 200,000 and that your belief is the demand in Scottsdale is for another 50,000. Correct. And just to elaborate further, that's across all different asset types. I would like to just kind of rein in this extremism that we've gone now from 50 to 100,000 to 200,000. One of uh, my opponents, Mr. Graham, uh, doesn't seem to believe in the law of supply and demand. Uh, that attitude on council has to stop. Um, I have a bachelor's degree in, e in economics. So 100% unequivocally, there are 10,000 units approved and in the pipeline. That's documented, that's factual, it's been put forward, and you can say it's debunked, it's not debunked, it's factual. Eshek and Stratton are saying we should stop the extremism. Is it extremist to show the public the numbers? Why are they denying the facts provided by the city's own experts? Now that you have seen the facts, who do you believe? You can find the complete list of apartments in the development pipeline on the website protectscottsdale.com.